so project star is releasing today bro and hopefully releases today and today we're gonna do like a, a beginner's guide basically like a you know a little star guide for all my people why am i story there we go basically we're gonna do like a little star guide for you guys so make sure you look at the timestamp on what you want to see and what you want to know right it's not gonna be the ultimate guide of everything because this will be a long video but we're gonna try to make the best beginner guide we can right so when you spawn into the game you're not gonna be right here you're gonna be into the beginning area where you just do the tutorial and it's gonna tell you to fight someone you fight that NBC and then you spawn right here right so boom the quest that you get is gonna tell you to talk to this guy right here I forgot what he tells you to do because it's been a minute so you talk to that guy but before you actually do the quest make sure you grab every quest that you see there's gonna be a green quest right here I think this is a gray quest right here and there's gonna be another quest right here which you can't do I recommend doing like I recommend grabbing every quest that you get because if you do a, a the story, there's like a story quest. I don't know what level it happens at, but there's like a story quest where you can't progress in the story because you have to get to a certain level. So make sure you grab all the quests, right? So now all the quests that you have in the game, you either have orange, which is the main storyline, gray, which is the side quest, which I recommend doing like doing them multiple times, and green, which is daily, right? So like I said, make sure you grab every quest that you, uh you see right so you don't be left behind because like when you get to a certain level which i was playing later in the video you have to do more quests to get to that certain level to progress in the story right so boom you're gonna spawn right here you got all your quests you're good to go now we're talking about let's get into the jojo game which is stands uh right obviously you gotta get you an arrow it's, it's the same as every other jojo game right to get you an arrow the arrows spawn around the whole map but the best the best place to get an arrow like a stand arrow arrow is around this city right here which is pretty big so right here, this right here is a, a gleaming stand arrow, which is not the best. Well, it's the, it's the best arrow with finding arrows on the map, but it's not the most rarest. The most rarest is a cursed uh, arrow. So my, uh, now we're at it, right? Since we're talking about arrows, there's four arrows. You have the regular stand arrow, which I think I have in my inventory. Let's see if I have it uh, right here, which is your stand arrow and your this is your gleaming arrow, right? So the chances are, which I'll put in the screen somewhere right now, you have your regular stand arrow, which is the like the lowest one. You have your uh, unusual stand arrow, which is the second second one, and then you have your third one, which is the gleaming stand arrow. Then you have your fourth one, which is the cursed arrow, which I forgot what that does. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll put that in the screen somewhere or in the description. But those are your arrows. Obviously, if you find an arrow, you use it and um, you get a stand, right? And you press Q to unlock it. There's also other items on the map, like uh, uh, what's that fruit called? Roica, Ro something like that. That fruit, which you know takes away your stand. Everyone knows that. You have the vampire mask. You have uh. Uh, well spawns around the map you have this uh meteorite shard i forgot what that does i think it's something later in the game and uh there's other stuff on the map that i forgot which is on there but you just gotta be lucky to find them and yeah so once you get the stand obviously uh if you want the stand you have to go to the stand storage so we're gonna reset real quick so i can actually show you where the stand storage is because a lot of people are gonna get confused on where to find it right all right so the best way to actually find the stand storage which is pretty easy in my opinion you want to come out from the beginning which i am right now that's where you spawn every time you die you want to come out and you want to make uh a left so we're going to fast forward this because it's really easy to find but we're going to do that real quick All right, so we're at the stand storage, and this is where you st uh, you store your stands and your combat styles, which I'll get into about combat styles after uh, we talk about stands real quick. So this is where the stand storage is, and another uh, easy way to find the stand storage, when you get into the map, when you start exploring around the map, just, you know, when you see stuff, you see items, see quests, there's like a big area right here where I'm going to. If you see this big area, it's really uh, good to be right here just to find like certain places like the sewers, which uh, that's how you become a vampire. Well, you're, you're there to buy your umbrella and stuff and do quests, right? So right here is, is really a good little marker for you just to find out where stuff is. So for a mar marker for the stand storage, you want to look at this ice cream truck and it points at the right direction to where you need to go. And boom, the stand storage should be right in front of you. So that's what I basically use in this game to like figure out where I'm going and where to go. You know what I'm saying? So boom, this is where the stand storage is. You want to go inside there. And right here, like I said, you can you can store your uh, your combat style which I don't really need to store anything, even though I have Hamon, but I don't like it like that. Then you have um, 
your star stands boom this is what it looks like i think you get three automatically i'm not too sure or you get two one in the one of the two i just said and then obviously these are game passes that you can uh, buy to get more stand storage right so boom let's actually look at this one real quick and see because i haven't looked at it yet so yeah you only have three so boom that's where you store your stands right so now now that you have a stand right now what makes this game different from yo i clicked the wrong wood what makes this game different from other games that I noticed, because I haven't really played that many JoJo games, but like from the big JoJo games that I've noticed so so far, you have uh, uh, your attributes and you have your skins, right? So obviously your skin, it's you're just different type of skins for the stands. You can actually, uh, you can get lucky. You don't have to pay Robux to change your skin. You just get lucky with the stand that you get. Just keep getting stands. You might get a cool skin or not. But if you do have a stand that you want, like for example, I have the world, I want a new skin. But let's just say I don't want to re-roll that. I want to actually spend Robux. You can spend Robux to do that. And I think it's somewhere in here, but I can't really see it. Where is it, bro? Where is it? Either way, I, yo, all right, here it is. Skin re-roll, uh, stand skin. So if you buy that, uh, it is 75 Robux. So boom, there you go. So you can re-roll uh, re your skins and all that stuff, right? So I don't have all the, uh, I don't know all the skins for the world. I don't even know if the world has different skins or not. But there is a trailer that's going to be in the game. I can't put it in the description right now or I can't like show it on screen because I don't have access to it. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to post certain things on, on the game yet until it releases. So yeah, the trailer would be in the description once the game officially comes out. So then we have uh, attributes. Um, same thing for our saying for skins. Every time you get every time you get a, a stand, right, you, you're it spawns with the attribute or, or attribute or skin. So, and it, as you can see, I didn't get lucky. I got the world, but I didn't get nothing out of it. And I don't think you can re-roll attributes for game passes. I'm not too sure. But with skins, you definitely can. So, with attributes, there's different types of uh, attributes that you can get. If I remember correctly, you have, uh, let me see. You have uh, different stuff for speed, uh, health, defense, damage, and damage and health. Um, let me see if I can show y'all, for example. I think I have one stand that is powerful real quick i think it's my uh that little ice thing i forgot what it's called um where is it where is it, where is it? right right here so my attribute is strong so obviously i think strong would be into damage yeah it wouldn't be in damage and defense it'll just be in damage so there's different attributes that you can get like the i i end up getting weak i forgot what weak does uh i think weak is like uh i forgot what it does but yeah Dude, there's a lot of uh, attributes that you can get into the game which i can't post right now because i'm not too sure if i can post it but like i said it will either be in the description or it will be in the trello so boom now we got stands out the way and we got attributes out the way let's get into combat right there's different types of combat in this game you get the basic combat which is not too bad right for fighting npcs well it well it's kind of dookie but i ain't gonna hold you but if you're pvping it's definitely dookie but there's different uh types of combat styles as you can see when i um Bro, I keep pressing the wrong button, bro. Why is my inventory not popping up, bro? There we go. As you can see, if you go into uh, your profile, you see combat style. I have Haman, right? So there's different uh, combat styles. You have basic, which is your basic, your one that you spawn with. You have Haman, which I did a video on already. If you want to see it, a link would be in the description or it'll pop up somewhere in the video. You have uh, Bubble Haman, which I'm going to do later. And you have Vampire and you have uh, Cars, right? i never seen... Uh, vampire i've seen cars cars looks really good for pvp i don't know about vampire i haven't seen bubble haman haman's all right i don't recommend it i'm pretty sure there's i'm pretty sure there's other other uh no nah, i'm pretty sure cars is better i don't know about vampire but yeah haman's not that great but yeah to get those styles you have to either pay five thousand you have to pay five thousand uh money which is at the bottom left i have sixteen thousand um you buy that with uh, you go to a certain character which like i said it will be in the video if you're trying to get uh Haman, I might do a bubble Haman later. You have to go to the trainer. You have to spend five thousand dollars to actually uh, get the to get the quest, and then you finally get the um you finally get the uh what should we call it, the abilities, right? So as you can see, uh, I can't really use my stand while with uh, using Haman. So you have to switch. Like if you want to use your your combat, right? You would have to switch. Uh, you have to un get your stand out the way, and then if you want to go back to using your stand, you have to press Q again, right? So you can't use your abilities and stand at the same time, right? So yeah, I want to let y'all know. So boom, that is fighting styles real quick. So let's get into uh, the leveling system for the uh, progressing. Like let's say like you're level 30 from like when I was level 30, oh, I can't even get this out, bro. When I was level 30, that's when I actually uh, couldn't do the story anymore because it tells you to do a certain level. And so it tells you to be a certain level to do the uh, stand i like i said i never encountered it at like level 10 or 11 level 15 or in my 20s i only encountered when i was in 
level 30. But there's like a place that you can go to. Uh, actually, matter of fact, before we even get to that real quick, uh, I know there's areas where people might get confused or where the main story is. This guy right here where I'm at, he actually, uh, he actually gives you a main story quest. So just in case if you ever get lost, he's right here. So boom, going back to where you, if you get stuck and you can't, you can't, uh, bro, what, what's standing? I thought that was a, all right. So I try to wait for this day cycle so y'all can actually see where I'm going because it's mad dark. But, uh, there's a quest that you do when you get stuck or wherever level you should be. I think you should be like around thirties. If you actually do the quest, like I said, like grab all the quests, but if you get stuck around twenties or thirties, you want to do this quest called, uh, the mummies quest, which is, uh, there's like a, like three quests you can do. And I just kept doing those quests over and over again. It gave me decent money and it gave me, um, a lot of EXP. Hopefully they don't nerf it. But yeah, we're going to circle around uh, the city. You want to go past Dio's mansion, which I should be close right now. But I'm just hovering the city since it's so dark. And you probably, hopefully you can see where I'm going. But boom, there's Dio's mansion right there to your left. Um, you just want to keep going straight. And you're going to come across uh, the, this mummy quest. Hopefully this is the right area. I always save my quest. So this, oh, so this is it right here. This is right here. You want to do this guy right here, the hungry zombie quest. This is a good quest, bro. Um, it's gonna be like mad zombies over here. You want to do this guy right here, which uh, I can't do his quest anymore. You want to do this guy right here. You want to do this quest, and hopefully, yo, hopefully this stays in the game, which I'm pretty sure it will. And there, there used to be a pizza guy right here, but I don't know what happened to him. Uh, maybe they moved in the area, but this was a good area. But anyway, they're gonna tell you to kill mummies. They're gonna tell you, they're gonna tell you to kill uh. Uh, mummies and these knights if you could if you don't see the mummies or the knights you want to come into this dungeon it's pretty easy just put it on easy and do it with a friend or not or bro yeah, it's right here i'm tripping yeah do it right there it's a dungeon quest just do that until you uh find the mummies or just hop into another server and the mummies might actually come now there's actually a third quest that i need to find i don't i think it's like uh right hold on let me see if i can find it real quick i think it's straight ahead let me make sure, because like, like I said, they move stuff around since the last time I actually been to this area. But you want to do those three quests. Hopefully, I find this third one. This, this right here gives you a lot of EXP. Um, It's so dark, too, bro. Jesus, bro. Let me zoom out. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Yep, I remember now. I'm going to talk to this guy right here. He gives you another quest. So you just want to keep rotating those three quests until you get to the, the right requirement. And then once I, I think once I did that, I didn't really have any issues because I was doing this quest for a long time. I was doing those four quests. Hopefully if you find that pizza guy quest. He gives you like, tells you to deliver a pizza and he gives you uh, a lot of EXP for money. So you exchange money for EXP basically. I don't know if they took, I don't know if they took it out, but yeah. So let's actually reset. All right. So there's going to be another requirement. Um, when you're level 50, this guy, you talk to this guy and he tells you to kill uh, this guy. I forgot his name, bro. It's a boss. And I'm not too sure if that's the last uh, story quest because I have not found the story quest mission yet. Hopefully when the game releases, it gets easier to find the orange story quest. But I was like around 50 something and I was like, bro, that can't be it. So there's a quest that you can do. Uh, there's a quest that you can do. It's called kill. Uh, I don't have it on me right now, but it's basically a, a way. If you're a vampire, you go to the sewers, sewers, right? But let's just say you're not a vampire. You just want to go to the sewers and you want to keep doing this quest over and over again. This quest gives you a lot of... Uh, a lot of money a lot of uh, a lot of money and a lot of exp and i kept doing this till i was level 70 so i was like 55 i think and i stopped that i stopped doing that level 70 and it's still good to do exp like it's still i said it's still good to do exp it's still good for exp around the 70s but i stopped doing it just to go into Dio's mansion so let's actually fast forward just real quick so i can show you where the sewers is real quick All right, so we're back at this area real quick. Like I said, I always use this area, and it's so freaking dark, bro. I might get confused real quick, but I always go to this area to figure out where everything is. And like I said, it's mad dark, so if I mess up, y'all don't forgive me. But you want to find an area that looks like I think this is the area. You want to find the area that looked like this is my little landmark right here, this little building right here. And you just want to make a, a left, and then you want to see this, y'all. You want to see this dude with goggles? You can't see because it's so dark, bro. But you want to see this guy right here. And then once you see this little opening area right here, uh, that's where the sewers is, right? So boom, if you're a vampire, I think you automatically spawn in this area. And you can buy an umbrella. So, you know, if you've seen the anime, you can go outside when it's daylight and have the umbrella. 
but I'm not a vampire, so I don't know if you actually unequip the umbrella and use the combat. Actually, matter of fact, hold up. Okay, so you you can use your uh your stand and with the umbrella. Okay, I didn't know that. So um, this is where you buy the umbrella right here. How much is it? Dang, they change. Dang, they changed that price. I don't remember it being eight fifty, but maybe you die. If you die, you lose it. I'm not too sure. Nah, nah, no, that would be dumb because I died plenty of times. Never mind. But um, here's the uh, guy you want to talk to him. He's gonna tell you to kill twelve uh, uh vampires. My back, can you get that out? So you want to go in here and not vampire. Yeah, vampires. I thought I was about to say zombies. They look like zombies for a second. Kill these vampires real quick. Um, and it's pretty, it's pretty easy. They're not hard at all. I was doing this like around fifty. Oh, bro, I didn't mean to do that. I was doing this around fifty, so you should be able to do it. So and just imagine if you have double exp, it'll be easy uh, exp. So it's not that hard. So you want to keep doing this until you're like level 70 maybe there's a better uh way maybe there's a better quest but so far this is the quest that i did and it gave me good money i was like maybe i forgot how much money i was when i was level 50 but i know for a fact that i was less than uh less than seven thousand, and i end up getting all that money doing um this quest right so like i said hopefully it's not nerfed but yeah i was doing that for a good minute so now we have the quest out the way you should be like level 70 or maybe you went to level 75 i don't know what max is but by the time you're level 70, you should start doing Dio's Mansion, which I have not done yet. I'm, act I'm actually at the beginning uh, uh, of Dio's Mansion. I did the... I killed that bird. I forgot the bird's name. I think it's Pet Shop, whatever. Killed that bird. But yeah, that's all I did so far. So uh, real quick, let's see. Let me see. Let me go over make sure I did everything real quick. All right. So I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video. But obviously, there's uh, trees in this game. You have stand tree, combat tree, and character tree. Um, If you have, like, let's say 100 stats so for example i have 46 stat points all these stat points are equal to all my skill trees so if i spend like 10 uh skill 10 points into this skill tree then i'll obviously have 36 to spend onto combat tree if i put 10 skill points into combat tree then i'll have 26 then i have 26 left over for uh character tree so be careful what you uh use so let's just say you uh, make sure you choose wisely right so let's say you messed up on your combat tree and you didn't you don't like the combat let's say you got hama and you don't like it so what you need to do is you go back to the stand storage, uh, the stand storage area, and you put your combat, your Haman into the combat storage. So you get all your points back. Same thing for the stand. If you don't like the stand, or if you add too much, uh, not if you don't like stand, if you add too much skill points into your stand and you want to put into your character tree, just uh, go back into the stand storage, put your stand back into uh, the stand storage, and you'll get your stand back. Right. So I wish I knew that earlier into the game, but that's pretty much it one of the fighting styles that i didn't mention uh is wamu to get wamu you need to uh, either kill the wamu boss that spawns in the map around the map i wish i could put the location on but i can't because i don't know if i'm allowed to put the map on but it would be in the trello it would be in the trello in the description below once the game comes out you either kill wamu to get the horn and or you do the dungeon which uh there's a dungeon next to uh uh that wamu guy i forgot his name i think that's his name wamu but i, I forgot you go into the dungeon if the highest difficulty you do the chance of you getting the wamu horn is uh better so that's how you get that but yeah i think i covered everything um i covered the beginner stuff and there's nothing that i i can see so far but yeah if you have any uh questions or if you have any other tips that i haven't shown in the video feel free to comment in the comment section let me know what you think uh uh let me know what you think of the video and what you think of the game so far you think it's a good game or not don't forget the trailer will be in the description once the game comes out. Hopefully it comes out either at 5 o'clock p.m. or 8 o'clock p.m. I think it's going to be 8, but we'll see. But anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and let me know what you think.